Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. This video is for everyone, not just people interested in radio. I will show you an exceptional system for off-grid communications. I've known about it for a while, but I've always delayed and I really regret doing so. Because in my opinion, every prepper, everybody should have this system. And best of all, it doesn't require a license. It has very long range and is easy to use. Basically, you have a little device like this. Uh, you know, there are other types, but uh, that's pretty much the size. And this device is connected to your phone. Well, to my phone here, but I'm filming with it. So <laughs> to your phone via Bluetooth, but it uses a totally different system uh, with this antenna, uh, which is called LoRa stands for long range, which in Europe is on 868 megahertz and in the US is on 915. There are also uh, devices on 433 megahertz. You don't have to know all this, but basically most people use 868 megahertz in Europe and 915 in the US. If you are into radio and maybe into prepping, you know that the most difficult thing to do is to get your friends and loved ones on board to participate in, uh, in your prepping activities or radio activities. Forget asking them to get a, a ham license, it's just not going to happen most of the time. But this system uses uh, their smartphone and a little tiny device here that you can see This is a uh, Liligo T-Beam. I will mention other devices. And that's all there is to it. Between devices like this one and this one, of course, this box is empty, but it's not going to stay empty for a long time. I have a Heltec V3 uh, ordered for this one. And that again is a, a Liligo T-Beam. So between those two devices, it's 800 and 68 megahertz or 915 it's LoRa modulation or coding and uh, it communicates between those two then it goes from the one that's close to you to your phone and that is used to send text messages no voice just text you can't send images either it's just <laughs> it's too slow but but the slowness allows the long range so basically only text messaging you might ask, uh, what's so special about it? Well, every single node is a repeater. So, yep, it will actually rebroadcast your text messages to all the other stations around you. So basically, if there is a station that you can't reach for whatever reason, if it can be seen by another and you see that other station, it will, you will have a path between, between you two using a third party. So with a few people in a city, you can cover the whole town with no problem. Even a couple towns over, I mean, uh, 100 kilometer contacts are not uncommon. Uh, just, of course, you need a little bit of height, but uh, it's just amazingly uh, powerful. And you can cover a wide area using a few of these nodes. You can even set up a node as a, specifically as a repeater and put it on a high point on a solar panel and you'll have a relay that will cover a hell of a lot of ground. And that's what makes Meshtastic absolutely fantastic. I will repeat something very important here is that this system does not use the cell phone uh, uh, network neither does it use the internet. It's absolutely point to point using radio waves. The most common devices, uh, and I showed you one, the uh, Liligo T-Beam is, uh, is pretty good. It's about $50. And uh, otherwise you have the uh, Liligo T-Echo, uh, about 60, I think. And uh, that's a really uh, cute little device with the antenna on it and uh, battery built in and everything. It's just pretty much ready to go. Uh, the uh, uh, T-Beam, you have to build a, print a case and, uh, and put it in a case. Then you have a Heltec, uh, Heltec uh, V3, uh, which I have the box for here. And uh, it's in the mail, of course, with the uh, Chinese New Year. It didn't get sent on time, but it should be sent tomorrow. So for the, the Heltec V3, uh, I'm going to get a GPS for that one too. 
those uh, those two use a little bit uh, more current the uh, Liligo T Echo uh, uses another system so uh, it's it's very uh, current efficient and uh, the uh, T Beam and uh, Heltec uh, V3 uh, are a little bit more uh, you know hungry uh, as far as current goes but they are all very common and they work very well then you have the uh, Rack Wireless system. Rack Wireless uh, has a, uh, basically you have a baseboard like the uh, Rack 19003 or the uh, Rack, uh, I think it's 19007. And uh, on top of that, you put the, the core, it's, it's just another board. It's the uh, Rack uh, 4631, I believe. And uh, basically those two boards uh, form the device. And you put that also in a case, you have to print a case or, or make a case. And uh, you can actually use that as a repeater because they are very, very good on current consumption. With one little battery like this, 18650, this uh, T-beam can last uh, just about uh, maybe 12, 15 hours. Uh, of course, uh, I'm using the GPS, there's a GPS chip in there, an antenna, so I'm consuming a little bit more current. Usually, if you don't have the GPS, probably 24 hours, I'm not sure. But there are other cards like the RAK Rack Wireless, uh, which uh, I'll put the links down below on all those devices. But uh, uh, that one can last, I think, about 10 days on, uh, on an 18650. So you add to that a little uh, solar panel and basically it's going to work uh, continuously. All right, now we're going to put everything together and test the T-beam in real life. Nice little box. I have a drone antenna. Uh, it's uh, actually, they call that a Moxon, but uh, it's probably a, a two element Yagi for 868 megahertz And now I'm going to uh, put on the uh, latest firmware for Meshtastic. <laughs> Meshtastic. Okay, so Flash ESP32 devices, that's on uh, Meshtastic.org. I'm going to click on the web-based installer. Target. T-Beam. Flash. Full erase and install. Um, hmm. Okay. So far, it's pretty darn simple. Um, just had to plug it in and go to the online flasher and do it and that's it I'm going to uh, restart the unit and uh, see what happens and uh, uh, try to connect to it with uh, my computer or my phone I think I'll try with my Mac I think it's over I think it's just uh, serial messages there that just uh, the log basically uh, apparently the battery is charging so that's great all right so um, uh, I don't have a code. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's on the screen. All right. Connect. Oof. Um, region. Europe 868. Ignore MQTT. Transmit enabled. Number of hops, me save oh. 
okay apparently that's that's it i'm gonna put it uh, outside on my terrace now it's just a matter of waiting see if i'm going to detect uh, other nodes there is uh, nice over there uh, in the background and uh, italy so we'll see and I see my friend Marco's node there. Uh, he uh, came over and we set up his node. Uh, he went back home to, to do a test and uh, went up a little bit uh, on, a, on a hill, on a mountain. So to see if we could make contact. And bingo, contact established. <laughs> 25 kilometers. On such a, a little amount of power, that's amazing. And uh, he uh, has the uh, tiny antenna that came stuck with the uh, T-beam, which is, uh, you know, piece of, uh, well, you know what, and uh, still, still we made contact, so that's pretty amazing. Uh, we were able to exchange text messages uh, without any problem, so success. Here is a quick look at the Android application. Uh, you can see that's the screen where we get the messages, the text messages. We were exchanging messages. Some of them uh, were not received. Some of them were received but not confirmed. So it's not 100%, but if you're close enough and you have line of sight, it will be. Here's the screen that shows the nodes that uh, you have received in the past. So mine and Marco's. Unfortunately, I did not detect any other nodes in the region here, but I'm working on it and that will change. It even shows the, uh, the battery uh, level of uh, all the nodes and uh, geographical locations. If you have the GPS enabled, you even have a map. Uh, I think you have to be on the internet though for, to get the map, but uh, you can see my position here and uh, you would see the position of the other person if we uh, had exchanged messages recently. Here is the uh, channels screen. When they say channels, it's more like chat rooms and we have here Longfast. Longfast is the uh, default channel and everybody can get those messages. Uh, it is still encrypted, but uh, everybody has the, <laughs> the code, the QR code that you see there. So uh, if you want to talk to everyone, uh, that's what you have to use. But you can also create your own encrypted channel and it uses AES-256. Uh, there has been some controversy about AES, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, just know that uh, common mortals <laughs> won't be able to uh, decode your messages if you create your own group. In which case, you just uh, go to the app, you create a new group uh, channel, and uh, it will give you a new QR code, which can be then scanned by uh, your group members uh, with their phone, and uh, they'll have access to the new channel. This is just an introduction video and there will be a few more, of course, uh, as I'm getting uh, more in depth into the system. But you can check out uh, the comms channel and also uh, Andy Kirby. And they have some really good videos about Meshtastic. Uh, also, the, of course, uh, Meshtastic.org site. And they have a channel on YouTube as well. What do I think about this system? Well, uh, you kind of <laughs> you kind of know already i think it's great uh, i think every prepper should have this system in place especially if you have a group you have family members friends you must be able to communicate between them and you can cover great distances like that especially with the, the hops between the nodes and uh, that's that's really good so i couldn't emphasize it more you really every prepper should have this system and it's cheap it's very cheap you can get a card for like 25 to 30 dollars uh, it's it's not that expensive and it allows you to have a mode of communications that's encrypted for once because it's not on the amateur band so there is no regulation on encryption on those bands and that's a great uh, plus of course, uh, the range and the fact that it's easy for people to use. Anybody who's used a smartphone before is going to be able to use that device. Uh, it's really like texting. It is texting, texting basically. It's just using radio waves. Uh, well, your private network, basically, instead of the phone network or the internet. So 
I would even say that you should get that even before getting a, a handheld like this. You know, you probably already have one, but if you don't have one, you could probably probably should get Meshtastic before that. Of course, the uh, problem with uh, such a system is that it's slow. So you're not going to be able to convey uh, information as fast as transmitting on a walkie-talkie, of course. But on the other hand, nobody can hear you. and. Uh, it's really much less detectable uh, also because uh, you have those devices on the same band using LoRa. They're everywhere in fridges, in, in, uh, in any device in your, in your home, you know, garage doors, uh, uh, modules that do like uh, telemetry, uh, you know, temperature, humidity and stuff. And those things are everywhere. So it would be very hard for someone to, to find your station if you don't have a GPS on it. Uh, or if you disabled it, you would be hardly detectable, basically, uh, because there are so many of these devices everywhere that it's like a needle in a bunch of needles in a haystack, basically. So uh, it would be hard, very difficult to find. All right, I think I said it all. Uh, again, this is just an introduction, so stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, please do support the channel if you can. Uh, I, I have to get some more gear for, for Meshtastic and uh, make more videos. So there is the coffee donation down below and the uh, crypto uh, addresses. Don't hesitate, please. And uh, Patreon also, of course. And I will see you soon with more Meshtastic videos. Have a good one. All right, because this website does cost me much more than what it brings me, I did sign up for an affiliate program with EMP Shield. We are all concerned about EMP's, you know, electromagnetic pulse, especially for radio equipment. And EMP Shield does provide protection for your whole home, for your vehicle and for your radios. Yes, for your antennas. I was a bit skeptical, I have to admit, but after looking at all the documentation they have and the uh, military testing they did, and those devices they uh, they offer are extremely fast to protect you uh, against EMPs, but also, of course, lightning. So it does look pretty legit to me. I got you a coupon for $50 off at EMP Shield, so don't forget to use it. It's Radio Prepper in one word or lower case. By the way, do use the link down below uh, rather than going to the site directly. That gives me more brownie points and you do save 50 bucks and I get a kickback. So don't hesitate to have a look at their website. I am learning more about it myself and all the products that uh, they offer. And I'll tell you the way the world is going right now. I think it's a good precaution. The solar cycle is uh, coming back and there will be a lot of solar activity. So we could get a natural EMP that's always a threat and you want to protect your electronics, your toaster, your washing machine, your oven, everything that has an electronic chip in it is at risk and you need a device that's fast enough to ground everything in nanoseconds so that when the power comes back, <laughs> you still have your electric and electronic devices. Once again, the coupon is Radio Prepper, one word, lowercase, and that will give you $50 off.